and welcome to Savage Gamer. Well, it's that time again, guys. It's time for another of my top 10 hidden gems on the PlayStation 4. You guys always love these videos, and I have this time around, ugh, there are a lot more rare games than usual. These games are, most of them are going to be pretty hard to come by, but they are fantastic games, and I would definitely recommend picking these up, especially if you're a collector looking to add to your collection and get some rare games in the future. A lot of these titles are already getting expensive, and I highly recommend that you pick them up before they get even more expensive. But with that being said, let's get this started. Never speak to anyone about what happened on this night. And remember, you have seen nothing, 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 nothing. Did they take John? I'm really sorry, Rat. It's about immortal beings. Look, this odd coin is the key. I've been searching for it all my life. Why do I speak and understand every language? Am I really the devil's son? Is that the only thing that lies you? Now it's your turn to protect the treaty of the flesh. Behold the power of the Inquisition! No son of Satan will ever escape the wrath of God. Not even he who hides in noble garments. It's written in an unknown language. One so rare it could even date back to the days of the Tower of Babel. Come on, the catacombs are about to come. There you go. Hey, don't die, okay? Sorry. Yago, help me! I did find this. Pauline. Number 10, we have Yesterday's Origin. Um, <clears throat> this is a point-and-click adventure title. Um, fairly obscure. It actually released uh, through Limited Run Games. You guys know how rare those games are. Uh, it's a really cool uh, point-and-click adventure game. Uh, basically dealing with like the Inquisition. Um, it's actually the Son of Satan, God. A lot of religious uh, undertones. It's pretty violent as well. It's a cool story. Um... It's definitely worth picking up, but again, this is limited run games release. You're looking at around forty to fifty dollars to pick up a sealed copy. Uh, you can always digitally download the game, but it's definitely worth playing and definitely worth adding to your collection. Activity, the Lost Soul. It's a really cool survival horror um, VR game that released on the PlayStation 4 um, during Christmas that not a lot of retailers carried. I believe Best Buy and a couple of small mom and pop stores were the only ones that had this game. And it's a really cool game, especially if you like um, like survival horror on the VR. Um, it'll scare the crap out of you. A little less production run, so it's going to be a little bit harder to find. Um, Definitely worth picking up, though, guys, and adding this one to your collection.
have Wild Guns Reloaded. Um, this is a port and enhanced version of Wild Guns that released on the Super Nintendo, and it was an amazing game. Um, it is an arcade shooter um, up to four players, and you can select different characters and had different abilities and things like that. But it was a fantastic game that released on the uh, SNES back in the day. And a side note for you guys, if you guys don't know, I actually love retro games as well. I collect a lot of retro games, and I know I haven't ever done a list with any of those or anything, but... And the re side note, the reason for that is I feel like a lot of people do a lot of things for the Super Nintendo and that kind of stuff, but I love retro games. Uh, this game was one of my favorite Super Nintendo games, and to see that it got a port and an enhanced version on the PlayStation 4, I immediately picked this up. This is something that if you are a retro fan, you need to add this to your collection. It's also a very limited print run. Not very many stores got it. It's going to go up in value. I can assure you of that because the regular version of Wild Guns is very expensive. And this one's already went up past the point of where it was when it released. So I would definitely add this to the collection right now. Seven, we have the Count Lucanor. Um, this is a strange for me to categorize. Uh, it plays similar to the old Legend of Zelda's. It's between like 18 and 16 bit graphics. Um, the story changes based on the decisions you make, and it also has horror elements in it. It is a fascinating game. Uh, it did not even get a physical release in the U.S., uh, so I had to import this. So if you're looking to add a very unique Zelda-type game with multiple endings, definitely add this one to your collection. Right now you can get this for around $17 to $20 brand new, which I would highly recommend doing because this is definitely going to be one of those ones that under the radar and won't probably ever get a U.S. physical release, which means the value is going to go up quickly. you're wondering what the hell did you just watch on there well that's the uh, feeling that i get when i play this game it's uh number six is pineview drive it is a very unique survival horror game that released so small amounts that there's about two to three copies on ebay and that's it on u.s releases right now like period finding this game is extremely difficult i don't even know where the hell it got released from but I'll tell you this, it's scary as hell, and it is a very odd game. It knows, it, it learns from the behaviors you do in the game. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, really cool game, though, and for survival horror fans, this is going to be a gem of a gem. If you can manage to somehow find this game, which took me forever to get a hold of, if you can find this, buy this. I promise you this is going to be worth a lot of money down the road. It's too late to keep quiet. Come in. Come in. You have finally arrived. That old brag will take his toys apart just to see if he can put them back together. You do understand. 
understand I want what's best for you. Just follow me. Come along. What the hell is, what the hell is your problem? Are you trying to get us killed? Are you trying killed? to get us killed? Understand, I want what's best for you. Good. You should know that we have made remarkable progress today. At number five, we have the Impatient. Um, switching gears from insanely difficult game to hard to find to relatively easy to find right now. Uh, just released at GameStop maybe a few, like three weeks ago. Uh, fantastic. Survival horror VR game that released on the PS4. I think some acclaim, but nowhere near enough that it should have. Uh, decision making a lot like Until Dawn or Hidden Agenda, which if you love those games, you're going to love this game. I cannot say enough about it. The story is fantastic. Um, it's scary as hell. And if you have a VR, this definitely needs to be in your collection. My name is Teddy. Nice to meet you. Good night, hon. Sweet dreams. Sleep. This is another very hard to find uh, survival horror game that released on the PlayStation 4. Um, this one's cool. You play from the perspective of a toddler or a very young child. Um, it's like a first person game, survival horror, where you play as the perspective of a child, and there's like this demonic teddy bear leading you down all kinds of ridiculous paths, and the story is really unique and cool. Uh, very hard to find a physical copy, no GameStop anywhere where I live had it. I looked in like a 200 mile radius, not a single one had a copy of this game. It's already going for around like 50 to 60 dollars on eBay. The game released for like 20 or 30 bucks. It's really good and it needs to be in your collection. This is a very fun, cool, retro uh, 2D platformer. Up to four players, which is a blast. There's multiple characters you can pick from that have different play styles. Uh, the gameplay is fantastic. It's spot on, like, jumping and mechanics like that. Like, they took their time crafting this 2D platformer. Uh, 
That being said, getting a hold of this is going to be a little bit of a pain. It was only released through uh, East Asia. East East Asia, I think it was. Yeah, East Asia. Asia. Blech, can't talk today. Uh, it's very hard to get a hold of. Um, I think on eBay it's going for like sixty, seventy dollars. It is, I think, still available on East Asia um, for around, I think, thirty dollars. Uh, it's well worth every penny going to be extremely hard to get a hold of down the road and you need to add this to your collection. Freaking awesome survival horror. Uh, I would say anime inspired uh, game. It's got a very unique art style if you can't tell from the trailers. And it's really fun. The story on it's great. Uh, it's, it, in my opinion, one of the better uh, survival horrors out on the PlayStation 4 right now. And that's saying a lot because there is so many good games on it right now. Um, Getting a hold of this is the same as Caveman Warriors. Uh, East Asia was the only way it released, so it has very limited quantities. I think around like 2,000 to 3,000 copies were produced. So similar to limited run games, but less people know about this. So it's even harder to get a hold of. Um, eBay, you're looking around $70 to $80 for a copy of this game. Uh, but it's well worth the purchase. Any survival horror or anime fan needs to add this to their collection. Any collector looking to fill out some of the rarities this is going to be a must own and i would highly recommend getting it right now before you go out and have to spend around 150 dollars to get this game in a few years i'm sure my mom was just trying to protect me Now that there's only one of us left, I thought it was time I heard the stories. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. One way or another. At number one, 
we have What Remains of Edith Finch. This game is probably one of the best um, adventure games I've played in a very, very long time. Um, some people call it a walking simulator, whatever you want to call it. The story in this is absolutely amazing. Um, the game digitally released a while back, um, and if you haven't played it, for the love of God, go d download it. Like, If you need to just play it, download it. It's not that expensive. It is an amazing experience, and I don't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil the story, but it's one of my favorite stories on any game, on any PlayStation 4 game like release period. Um, that being said, uh, a physical copy of the game has been released, and that's why the that's why this is on here. Um, getting a hold of this, on the other hand, is going to prove to be very difficult. Only around two thousand copies produced, and only sold online. And I for, forgive me, whoever produced this physically, I forget which website, but it was not Limited Run Games, and it was not uh, East Asia. It was another company that put this out physically, and. You might want to do some research and yourself, and if you remember, put it down in the comments down below, but uh, going to be very rare, going to be very expensive. You need to add this to your collection right away. This is a definite, definite own for the PlayStation 4 library. And that being said, guys, um, that was my new list. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to include a lot of, a lot of ex very rare games, uh, games that are you're not going to find, like, out in the wild too much. Like, outside of Impatient and maybe um, the Wild Guns, possibly Paranoid Activity. Other than that, the rest of them are extremely hard to get a hold of. And you need to add these to your collection. They're going to go up very quickly. And as far as all of them, you need to play all of them. They're all great games. Uh, I want to thank you guys. My subscribers, uh, would you just hit over 100? We're at 103 as of this video, which thank you to everyone for subscribing. We want to continue to grow the channel. Um, if you have any comments or thoughts on any other hidden gems, I have four other videos on PlayStation 4, so please check those out below if you don't see one on here that you think should be. Um, and if you've seen all of them, you still have a couple that you might think I might need to try out. Throw it down in the uh, comment section below, because I might just feature it in the next video if I love it and enjoy it myself. Um, that also being said, um, you can tell you I've had the same background for a while, but probably in a few months we might see a little change in my um, decor back here. You might actually start seeing my collection if I have everything set up, which I think you guys are going to appreciate if you see that. Uh, as far as for me, personally, I have a lot of things going on. I'm going to be start um, working the Comic-Con scene, actually, soon. So, uh, <clears throat> if you're going to be out in, um, oh, where am I going to be at? I'll be at uh, the Gulfport, Mississippi uh, Coast Con. I will be out at, um, I think it's the, there's an anime convention in Mobile, Alabama. Um, I will be at that. And I'm also going to be at the St. Tammany Collectors Con in uh, Covington, Louisiana. Uh, it's a few smaller cons, uh, but I plan on expanding, so I will be doing the con scene soon. So I'll be also having games there available for everyone to purchase. More to come on that, but I want to thank everybody who's been supporting me. Uh, if you like what you saw and you're a new viewer, please uh, subscribe down. It helps me grow the channel, and we're trying to get to a thousand subs, so... Everyone that loves it, and all my passionate subscribers, and you know who you are, and especially the people that follow me since the beginning, if you could start sharing these and let get me, let's get this to a thousand, so we can really get the channel out. Because I want to get these games shown off to more people, so that they can get these games. Collectors need to get them before the scalpers buy them all up, and then no one can get them, and then there you'll be paying, like I said on the video, $150 for the coma in like a year and a half. And you think I'm joking, that's going to end up happening. I, I study market a lot, and that's probably going to end up happening soon. So if you listen to me, go pick that up right now. And I think it's still available currently on East Asia, and you'd only be paying around, I think, 30 bucks for the game. So do yourself a favor and go get it right now before you have to pay these outrageous prices. I mean, with uh, Limited Run Games is soon going to be putting out Nintendo Switch titles, which I personally am going to be picking them up. You need to do it yourself because it's going to go up in value. 
Uh, I have a few more videos coming up in the pipeline. Uh, uh, hopefully next week I should be getting out another Hidden Gems video. I'm not saying which one, but it's a new system. I haven't done yet. Um, I'm also going to probably be do, doing a my top 10 horror games on the PlayStation 4 soon and my top 10 horror games of all time. As you guys know, I love horror games. Um, if you have any other suggestions or, or maybe a video you'd like to see, maybe a console I haven't covered, please leave that down in the comments down below too. And I know I'm talking more than normal, but I feel like I need to get a little more information out there than usual. And... I'm going to be doing a little more vlogging soon in these videos. I have a little more free time nowadays, and I really would love to communicate with my community. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.